Yes, everyone, welcome back to Five. This is an episode of This or That. We've got Rio Ferdinand, Patrice Evra, and we're going to find out what they prefer. We've got United questions, we've got Premier League questions, and then we've got some world questions. So let's get into it. First up on the United questions, Carlos Tevez or Berbatov? Should I have guess go first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start, like, firing yeah. like that. <laughs> like, you know, I've got friends. Hot. Like, it's really hot. hot, like... Oh, now, Rio, can you answer first? I, I, I'm, I'm scared. I'm going to go. Bolt. Hey, hey. I'm going to go Tevez. Ooh. Because I, Berbatov had the, probably the best touch I ever played with. That's why. But I always used to argue with him about running. He never moved enough for me. <laughs> so I'm going Tevez. He was an animal. Oh, like you said, I think the most, with most class player I ever played with, I think is Dimitria. He can even play with a cigarette yeah. or whatever. Slippers. He was like, his, his slippers, what whatever. But yeah. I'll be honest, Carlos Tevez, and also when I go to Buenos Aires, I want to come back alive. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Tevez. All right, prime Rooney or prime Ronaldo? <laughs> no. main, uh, uh, go on, Pat, you go first. No, pr prime, prime uh, Cristiano. I, I, I love was I think, was I remember in 2009 when Cristiano left, and remember we played that World Cup uh, World uh, in, uh, in Asia, and I swear, that's when I know like when Rune, the, the player he, he was, because I think he was a little bit in the shadow of Cristiano, even if he start well, you know, they start both well, but I think he, I realized who was when Rune and when Cristiano Ronaldo left. Yeah, I'd say Cristiano, um, but that doesn't take away from, from yeah. Waza. Waza was like ridiculous footballer. I reckon he's even one of the most underrated English players in our, on our shores. Fact. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Facts. Oh, you can't respect Waza. Oh, Seriously. Pat, what was it like? Remember we used to go abroad with Waza? Mm. What the fans were like with him compared to the England in England? They were crazy. He was like a rock star. Yeah, crazy. But I, I think he's the. He, he had like so much bad press, and you know, it's like uh, also in France. You know, they don't respect that much the French player, and in England they're doing the same. And when he's like a foreign player doing well, they put him like you know over there like. I'm, I'm sorry, when Rune deserve like the same love of Eric Cantona I get from the English mm. people. True. True story. Uh, Park or Nani? <laughs> no, man. Pat can answer this one. No, I, I, I love you, Nani. I love you, Nanaka, but Park. Park Jason, like, I think is the most also underrated player of uh, Man United and Rio can tell you. He's the most clever player I ever yeah. see. Like, he will go at the right moment, the movement, the space. He was so easy to play with Jason Park. So, yeah, Jason Park. It's close. N Nani was a... If you said Nani 1v1, oh. you want to play not one, play 1v1 Nani, he could he'd yeah. probably be the best defender and the best attacker. Remember, he used to play de defensively against Cristiano. Yeah. He used to nick the ball off him. Right? Yeah. But then sometimes just it was just a consistency with his shooting or crossing everything up to that point he was brilliant decision making yeah but but Jason Park didn't have the talent didn't have the skill of Nani but he was so much more efficient mm. so I'd go with Jason Park yeah like he's loyal and you know with him Jason Park is like consistent mm. and that's the problem with Nani but by the way back to Nani do you know guys sometimes Cristiano Ronaldo don't let Nani like, t like kicking the free kick. No, 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 the face real. Don't start laughing. I'm talking just about the free kick. But I swear, Nani could like hit the ball, should hit the ball like even both feet stronger than Cristiano. Mm. The guy could do backflips. Huh? The guy could do backflips. Physically, he was one of the yeah. most impressive players I've seen. No, the acceleration. Phys phys physically, his body was the. He's been made with a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sculpture. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I couldn't do sit ups. Go on next. <laughs> Skulls are gigs. Skulls for me. Kigsy was I'm great. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. This one is a <laughs> tough one, really. It is, but I, just, I played right behind Skulls. So it was just, you played behind Gigsy. <sighs> That's why. But I played behind Skulls and just was sitting there. Just I used to call him Satnav because he could just put the ball where you wanted it. And he played, played the grass on the pitch. He was a joke. And he, I'd play him the ball and he wouldn't look and I'd just go, Gigsy, touch, bang. Yeah. Or Bex or Ronaldo or Nani. Or, he, just, he just hit him. To be fair, you know, when people ask me, who is the best player you ever play uh, at United? Of course, I don't say Rio Ferdinand, but why not? I, <laughs> I was close. He was close, but yeah, as a defender, yes, one hundred percent. But Scolsi and Gixi, people expect me to say when Rune or Cristiano Ronaldo, but Scolsi and and Gixi make me understand. You know, winning is is normal, consistent, and. 
you know, Scorsese is the only he's the only player never had the air dryer by Ferguson. He's the only one. Remember, he got sent off that time. He got sent off him, oh, in Bayern Munich. And, and you know, killed us. And, and yeah, manager shouting at me. <laughs> no, but you, you like this true. Never been at a ball. Never no. pass the ball to Scorsese yeah. when we pass the ball to Scorsese. He's controlling the tempo. Unbelievable. And I remember one game he went, he sent off and, you know, he had a yellow car and the manager told him, he says, Corsi, please don't tackle. You don't know who to tackle. So don't tackle. <laughs> After 10 minutes, second half, boom, boom, send off. So I say, he's going to destroy him. At the end of the game, he look at Scorsi. <sighs> and he start laughing. No he's the only one. No but one in, the, in the box, like, yeah, we, we did some box. And even, you know, before the game, Rio and, and Scorsi used to do the two-touch. You, I, I used to look at them and say, you know, you can't lose the game. The, the, the <laughs> touch, no, but seriously, the level was unbelievable. You know, you couldn't like, you know, I try sometimes to come, but you, you couldn't compete with those guys when they do the two-touch. I'll be honest with you, but I have to pick one. He thinks he's the best at two-touch. Does Scorsi beat him? Skulls is the best. Yes, Scorsese is honest. the best, but to be fair, you know, Rio, I, I will tell you, because Rio is not like a bad guy. And Scorsese in two touch was sometime like volley. Yeah. And, it, and Rio was giving the point to Scorsese, but come on. Rio didn't like, like it was quality. I've seen the tactics. Rio, Rio was quality, but no, was I need to me. pick one, guys, and because on the left side, and I will pick Gixi. It's a diff tough one, but Gixi. Rio or Vidic? <laughs> I've just seen that here. <laughs> <laughs> got slipped in. No, but but Rio, no people know my my uh, true about that. And Rio, why? Because Rio was the player. You know, he will end up the game like he will feel like he's, he's been in a restaurant. He will be clean. <laughs> and no, but that's that's the true. And of course, Nemanja is a is a is a is a is a warrior. He will pet his head. You don't even gonna put your feet or whatever. But it's just like. I, I like Rio at class. And, you know, it was a good combo between Rio and, 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 and Vida. I think they need both of them. But I know as a player, sometimes I wanted the ball like faster. And when Rio played play on the left side with me, I was feeling really comfortable because he wasn't, and, and Nemanja was struggling with the ball. That's why I'm like, I, I, I pick Rio over Vida because I like when people like have the quality of pass, quality of play. And of course we need Nemanja, you know, to, to stop the striker. But me, I like player, no matter you're a defender or whatever, a goalkeeper, you can play very nice with your feet. Let us know in the comments because I don't think- Wait, 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 uh, Rio, send me the money, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you can I can send you my IBAN after that. <laughs> All right, we're going to do some hardest opponents now from the Premier League, uh, Drogba or Torres? That's for me, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I would say, he used to watch them from far, far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> What's going Torres, on? Was, Torres was hard because I was talking about this the other day. He was quick, he was strong, he was aggressive, run behind, done a lot of the stuff he didn't want. He was actually, I was talking to Benitez about him actually, and he actually was a nasty guy sometimes mm. on the pitch. Great player. He, just, he stamped on my foot once, and I had about, at half time, I had about four or five stitches in my foot. Mm. The ball wasn't even there. He just, the ball's at the other end, just stamped on my foot. So he had an aggressive nature, but I, I, I enjoyed games against him. Uh, Drogba. Drogba didn't actually make the game as hard for me, but he scored big goals. Scored a goal at Old Trafford, which was offside, and they won the league. He scored mm. in the FA Cup final. Yeah. And... Yeah, good point. I'm going to go Drogba because of the goals, the big goals at the time when he scored. But Torres was hard. Man. On a technical level, Torres was harder. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, me, I, I didn't have to deal that much with them, but... I think actually even with the header, I was like comfortable with with uh, with Drogba. But the things with Torres, like Rio say, sometimes he will run, you know, between the the, the centre back and the left back, making those clever movements. Mm. His position, you know, you. So I will, I will pick Torres, but Drogba hurt us like a lot, like scoring, like you say, important goal. Mm. But I, me, I will pick like Torres. He's got Hazard or Bale, but I don't know how much you would have played against Hazard. Bell hurt me once. Bell never hurt me. I always have like a good time against Bell. Yeah, though, yeah. <laughs> and Lennon, no, but no, because with Juventus, also, you know, I play against Madrid oh, okay, and I yeah. played the semi final against Bell. And I, I'm sorry to say, I love him. I put him in my pocket. He was like not a difficult, he was not a difficult player to, to play against. Like Aaron Lennon 
was like difficult to play. Krypton, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Because he's the only player can come to the ball and boom, boom, same, same <laughs> intensity, fast, same man. intensity. And I hate when the player run behind me. So, so that's the thing. But yeah, I will pick. Um, I will pick Azar. I will pick Azar. Over there. RVP or Henri? Hard to oh, play against. Toughest yeah. opponent. Henri will yeah, be it's tough harder. Again. Van Persie, I didn't really have tough games against no. him when I played against him. But then when he turned up at United and trained every day and saw him, I was like, wow, he is elite. Yeah. Crazy player. I, I agree with Rio. He's when he play on your team, but against it, I remember he was the captain when we beat them A2. So when he come the first day, I remember training, <laughs> I said, welcome to a man club. And he said, he said the F word, but I remember after one month, he apologized. He said, Patrice, actually, you were right. It's the first time I see a team like you win everything, guys. But you know, before training you in a gym, after training you in a gym, he said when he was Hungry. at Arsenal, you know, after he was not even like he was in a, in a pitch, the kids, they were already like going, you know, in the street and having fun or whatever. So that's why it's not like disrespecting Arsenal, but that was my feeling when I play against mm. them. This question keeps popping up, man. Lampard or Gerard? Me, I'll be honest, C C Captain Gerard. And I know Lampard scored more goals or whatever, but I just feel like Gerard was carry, carrying Liverpool in his shoulders for so many years. And Lampard, you know, we forget what Makelele, all those midfield was doing because after he, he just had to go and score the goal. And don't get me wrong, for a midfield like end up the season with 20 goals. Mm, when you just think about think the number. Times, you know. For the number, yeah, five exactly, times. exactly. So it's just like not, he's a goal scorer and he's a midfield. So I want to give an edge to, but I, I just like, you know, and, and he's a Liverpool player, but I just want to say, Amir Gerard. Champions League hardest opponents, Etu or Villa? Or Villa? David Villa. This is a good call. Me, me I will say A2 because I hate, I, I mean, I, I love A2, he's my brother, but the game he played in the final in Rome, mm. you remember they start with Messi on my side, but mm. me and Cristiano, we will start like attacking and Guardiola like switch and put A2. And Eto was actually playing right back sometime. Mm. And he frustrated he frustrate me on my game. And I was like, you know, you need to attack. It was like, it's the final and everything. And I, I hate Eto like, because you of that, that game. Him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say that to him. <laughs> I say that to him. You know, I love him. But because of that game, wow. I, I was so Eto. frustrated. Yeah, Eto. We played the semi final the year before, or a couple of years before, I remember, mm. when we beat them. And he was, he likes to run behind, like Pat said. Players that want to run behind all the time. Yeah, the as a defender, yeah. Ozil or Modric in their prime? Oh, no, Modric. Modric. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Ozil, no, 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 come on, he was sick. Ozil no, was I, sick. I, I know Rio Ozil was sick, but Modric, bro. What he was doing at uh, uh, Real Madrid, Ozil. He was bad. He's not, I don't think, I think Modric is another level. But yeah. Ozil was a player, man. No, he's a player, but he's, he's a player like, he's not consistent, Rio. Hmm. Even on his prime, you know, he was good. Like, he, you, you want to, but Modric. Oh, Modric is Even a now, what he's doing, come on. Modric, Modric, do you reckon Modric? Modric, Xavi, Iniesta, where's he sit in that group? Modric. No, no, now you talk about, no. Uh, you see the way I'm talking, wow, Rio, this is a tough one, but Xavi, Iniesta, no. Because. It's what they've done to us, isn't it? What they done also to us, and also is about the, the generation, you know. I mm. think, like, Modric, when he was at Tottenham, wasn't that great like he is now, but it's a different generation, real. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like when people talk about Van Gaik or I'm like, did he, f did he face like DJ Drogba, Fernando Torres? You know, we're gonna always, so for me, it's difficult to mm -hmm. compare about generation, mm -hmm. but Xavier and Iniesta, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, they, they, make, they make Anderson lose like 10 stone, <laughs> like in one game. <laughs> Diggy the Tiki Taka, no, oh, come, on, come on. So Xavi or Iniesta? I'm gonna go. I love Xavi, but Iniesta just because of what he could do going forward, scoring goals, beating people. I, I like exactly like Rio said, but even if you ask to to Henri, or is the best mid, he will say Paul Scholl or he will say Iniesta. Mm. It's impressive. Man. And Ronaldo or Messi? No, me. I, I want to explain why I say Ronaldo every time, and it's not because you know he's our brother. Is is I'm in love with work ethic. I feel like Messi, you know, God just give him a talent and say, go to play with those kids. And Cristiano have to work for it, even if he had the talent, but he had to work for it. I think if Messi had the same work ethic as Cristiano, Messi will be probably like 15 Ballon d'Or today. But Ronaldo, I just, I'm just in love with people like working hard. So that's why I pick 
Cristiano over, and I know after the World Cup they say now the goat is uh, Messi or whatever, but pff, Ronaldo is is a different level. They they both like. I don't want to compare them. Like if someone picked Messi, I I will agree with him. It's like we have a different. We yeah. have a preference. We have a different opinion. We just have to be blessed and grateful. You know, we play with those players and we see those players. They they still playing. That's it. It's like Djokovic, Nadal, e Federer. Ex exactly. You got, there's no wrong answer. Exactly. There's no wrong answer. Do you know um, when Ronaldo was 18 before United agreed to deal with him, Barcelona was in for him and they thought the money was too much for him. They could have had both. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. Wow. Aye. It probably wouldn't work, would it? One of them would probably would have got mm. floated off. He won't madness. be fast. Anyway, that's it. Cheers to Pat. Cheers to Rio. Cheers to you guys for watching. And uh, let us know in the comments who you want to see next. <laughs>